breakout player, I'm going to put uh, I'm in for a dime, in for a dollar on wide receiver Keyshawn Smith, the last signee, the la- the last signee in this class overall. Uh, sorry, the second to last o- overall and the last early enrollee, uh, former Washington State commit uh, from Long Beach, California, who decommitted there and enrolled at Miami on the last day of enrollment for the spring to be an early enrollee for this spring semester, flew overnight on a red eye from LA to Miami, got there on Wednesday morning uh, after registering on Tuesday uh, to start classes way back when. Uh, the kid is smooth, the kid is fast. He, he moves like a young Stacy Coley did uh, coming out of high school. Um, not saying they're the same player, but the way that he runs and moves, uh, they have very similar uh, movement skills. Uh, with that. And I just think that he fits in a spread offense. And uh, this is a kid who's 6'1 and could get bigger. His brothers are like 6'5 and 6'6. His dad is like 6'4 and a half, 6'5. Uh, so at 6'1 right now, like maybe he hits a growth spurt, uh, you know, so he could still even be a little bit larger physical guy. Uh, and he catches the ball naturally and he moves fast. Um, so that's a guy that I'm looking to. Um, Who's, I think that he's going to splash because we have uh, the ability to play more wide receivers in a spread offense, and I think he fits what we're going to look for uh, in that offense. On defense, Avery Huff, linebacker number nine. He's a phys- physical freak, uh, took a red shirt last year, um, and, I mean, he just – he's one of the best athletes among great athletes. Um and I just think that he's going to just come onto the field after taking a year off um, and just light everything on fire. I think he fits perfectly what we're looking to do uh, between him and Sam Brooks, who's uh, Brooks, you know, is working back from uh, knee surgery. I think he had minor surgery on his knee. And it's funny because minor surgery is surgery performed on somebody else, basically, but uh, not major reconstructive surgery. But still, uh, Brooks and Huff, I think, are going to be the future of the linebacker position, obviously, because they're younger than uh, Zach McLeod. Uh, and I just think that they have the athleticism to make that kind of impact. But if I had to pick two guys, Keyshawn Smith on offense and Avery Huff on defense. Anytime we discuss uh, players that obviously I've heard of because I've been sitting here every week opposite Cam Underwood and have listened to the entire roster rundown at some point. Uh, But I'm always curious, uh, you know, once they become uh, a starting player or an established player, an impact player, forget the recruiting rankings. They don't matter anymore. But if they if they have yet to and, and for those two individuals having been on campus, obviously their recruiting rankings don't matter anymore. But just to get a frame of reference, I'm always curious to see. Uh, you know, how they were considered uh, in terms of a projection uh, coming out of high school. So for Avery Huff, he was the 12th rated outside linebacker in the 2019 class, 30th rated player in Florida, uh, a top 200 player, according to the 247 composite. I'm curious to know why uh, Keyshawn Smith, uh, based on your summary of his potential, was only number 111 in the wide receiver category, top 60 player in California. So he's like a top 700 player, which if you really take things into context again, if you understand recruiting and the masses and volumes of players being recruited and signed and so forth and on rosters across the FBS, uh, understand (laughs) hundreds and hundreds and thousands of players are needed to play college football, but not necessarily the type level of wide receiver that you would see according to the rankings what do you think uh played into that um just the fact you know a little bit of a late bloomer situation and didn't really have a lot of like super large offers which is like it's kind of it's a circular kind of thing when you get the offers then you get the attention and when you get the attention then you get the ranking then you get more offers and you know what i mean so it, it, it's kind of circular and he was just he committed early to Washington State you know Mike Leach before he left out to go to Mississippi State uh, evaluated him and was like cool this is a guy that I want on my roster which you know if you're talking about wide receivers so people to play in the skill positions on uh, air raid offense I'm going to take Mike Leach's word for it you know what I mean like the guy knows offense and he was just that you know he was going to Washington State and he was just a, sometimes you still have sleepers you still have guys who for whatever reason, don't necessarily have the ranking that they might otherwise have. Um, And I think that that's the case with Keyshawn Smith. When Miami flipped him or got him uh, to to come over, I I mean, invariably, all the recruiting analysts that I read uh, their content or speak to, everybody, everybody to a person was like, oh, my God, that's a great good. Oh, man, 
Oh, I mean, and, and I've said it, and I, this is because I've heard it, and after watching the film, I believe it. Keyshawn Smith might be the biggest steal nationally in this recruiting class. Um, and I think that his low ranking is just kind of part of that situation. But, uh, yeah, if you divorce yourself from the rankings and you look at the film, this is a kid who can play. 